hundreds. You can see Chicago. And every time I think my first hundred days were bad, I remember you walked across Lake Michigan. There is grief and loss. There's also this huge rebirth and bounty of life and the possibility to thrive and survive and create art and relationships post enormous sweeping loss. I am Mackenzie Davis and I play Kirsten Raymond. When we meet Kirsten in year 20, she's an adult. There's like a nature and nurture thing with Kirsten. She was a child actor and she was nurtured by this man, Arthur Leander, who gave her Station Eleven and taught her this sort of duty of an actor that I think really charted the course of her life, that pandemic be damned. She's still one of the most famous actors in the world. In year 20, it's just a much smaller world and there's something about carrying out his legacy and having this duty to fulfill in her life. A little more than kin and less than kind. Kirsten managed to create family with the Traveling Symphony. They travel from town to town and bring plays and music in a circle around Lake Michigan every year, which is a really hard existence that they have chosen. And I think all life in year 20 is difficult, but there are more evolved ways of living than the Traveling Symphony lives. And I think that they've chosen this nomadic lifestyle as testament to their passion and dedication to their art. We're gonna go a little proper. Yeah. Alex is sort of the younger sister to Kirsten's older sister. Kirsten meets her when she joins the Traveling Symphony when she's 10 years old. And so they've really grown up together and we meet them at the point where that relationship shifts, where it's no longer older sister and younger sister. You're seeing the power dynamic shift and that sort of necessary ripping away of the parent happening with Alex and Kirsten's own identity being threatened by her autonomy. To the monsters, we're the monsters. Where did you hear that? The things that make Kirsten a good actor are the things that make her a survivor, and they're her instincts. That idea of animal and actor instinct being one whole important survival instinct, those two things merge in Kirsten really explicitly. So when she meets David and Cody, she's really suspicious of them, and it just seems like there's lies and half-truths. It's important that Cody and I join the Traveling Symphony. No. Then your friends are gonna start to disappear. David expresses danger towards her family. Kirsten doesn't process it beyond the people I need to save and the people who need to be exterminated in order to protect her family against them. <laughs> It's really felt like each area and epoch of the show feels like a completely contained movie, but it's so beautiful and it's amazing to have this idea in your head for so long and then see it executed. It's been a really cool experience.